Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. College visits for October are winding down, but we're giving you the November lineup today as well, so jot down these dates. And remember, you need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the information. The Colorado Council on High School and College Relations will be here for a college fair on October 24th from 1 to 2 p.m. If you're not sure what colleges are best for you, check out this college fair. The Counseling Center has more details and you can register online. And then on October 30th, Pikes Peak Community College has a visit scheduled with us. Seniors, October 30th is also the inaugural Colorado Free College Application Day. Save yourself some money and apply for college on this day. Here's the deal. All 32 public colleges and universities in Colorado and several private institutions will be waiving fees for admissions and applications submitted on October 30th only. Get your complete high-quality admissions applications ready to be submitted by this date. Keep in mind that each institution will waive fees differently, so plan ahead and read the institution-specific instructions as well as the Colorado Free Application Day frequently ask questions. See Mr. Walker in the Counseling Center for more information. The University of Wyoming gets our November College visit started on November 6th. Then on November 7th you can check out Luther College. On November 13th the reps from Fort Hayes State will be here followed by UCCS on November 15th. After Thanksgiving the Adams State Grizzlies are scheduled a visit on November 29th. If you missed any of these dates check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Juniors and seniors the ACT test date at Whitefield High School is a week and a half away on Saturday October 27th. If you did not get yourself registered for this date go to the ACT org website for other test sites, dates, costs, and registration information. And now we're checking in with Spencer Walter for our Gladiator Sports Update. It's Whoosh Wednesday, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Ladies, if you missed the swim and dive meeting on Monday, remember to check in with Mrs. Wickberg in room 110 for details and information. Our Lady Glads softball team closed out their season over the weekend with two losses in the 4A regionals. It was a good run, ladies. Thanks for the memories. The city's ultimate Frisbee Fall League, with what could be considered Widefield High School's team, won the championship with an undefeated season. The team has two current students and a number of alums. Nicholas Ayers, Kaylor Miles, Garrett Wilson, Soren Turner, and Hector Madrigal. Check out the trophy on display in the business office if you would like to join the team. See Mr. Nell. In soccer news, coming off a 2-0 win last week against Mitchell that clinched their second consecutive winning season. The boys' soccer team took on the Purple School last night, but our boys couldn't get their act together and took up a loss. Coming up tomorrow night, you can catch the boys right here at home against the Harrison Panthers at 4 p.m. The Lady Glads volleyball team would like to thank everyone who came out to support them at their Dig Pink games against the Sierra Stallions. The ladies won their matches and will be on the road tomorrow night in Woodland Park for their games at 6 p.m. We'll have scores for you on Friday. In cross-country news, our varsity team keeps on trucking. At the Colorado Springs Metro League last week, Ryan Outler defeated the defending 3A state champion. This win should set up a really great race as the cross-country team competes today and tomorrow for state berths at Monument Valley Park. Go get them, Glads. Bark. In Friday Night Lights, our Gladiators took a huge loss against the Cadets last Friday with a score of 41 to 13. Our Glads are home this Friday for Senior Night at 7 p.m. when they will take on the Liberty Lancers. Go out and support your Gladiator football team. Our Mighty Glad Marching Band earned a consistent score again this past weekend at the Harrison Festival. The band earned a third place in their class and a respectable fifth place overall. The band performs at Regionals tonight at 645 at Liberty High School. Best of luck to the band tonight. We'll have scores for you on Friday. If you haven't had a chance to check out the marching band in action, they'll be hosting band students from the junior highs on Friday night at the football game. This is always a great night for band students. And as if they aren't already busy enough, on Saturday the band heads to Found Fort Carson for the FFC Friendship Cup for another competition. Good luck to them all. Our forensics teams competed in two meets last week. Although the World Schools debate did not produce any WHS winners, at the Novice Tournament, WHS placed first out of 19 schools. Nice start, forensics team. That's it for your Wednesday Gladiator 
Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Spencer Walter. Go out and support your Gladiator teams this week and weekend. Now back to Corinne and Jeremiah for more news. Thanks for the update, Spencer. Students, Miss Melton is hosting a trip to England, Scotland, and Ireland in June of 2020. If you are interested in going on this trip, you and your parents should attend the meeting tonight at 6.30 p.m. in room 103. If you cannot attend the parent meeting, see Miss Melton for details and information. Students, the federal aid forms are were due on October 11th. What are you waiting for? Return your signed copy to your first hour teacher. The RoboGlads are holding a hat day this Friday, October 19th. Buy your wristbands for $1 tomorrow after school and on Friday morning before school. And now here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and tomorrow. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what's for lunch? I'm hungry. Hi, everybody. Hi. Happy Wednesday. Hi. Happy Halloween. Yeah, well, we're getting there. Getting there. Getting ready. Getting ready. You know, this week is National School Lunch Week. For your participation, I put some golden tickets in your sandwiches and your pizza. Not in them. You're not going to get hurt. You're not whatever. And then come down and see me with your golden ticket and look at all the fun little things that you can pick out. He's, he's got a pipe wrench key ring. I think I like it. And today for lunch, we're having Thai chicken. Thai chicken with rice. With rice. It's yummy. We. We sampled it out to you about a month ago, and I think you liked it a lot, so come by and see us. And Thursday is manager's choice. So Miss Betsy's choice is... Popcorn chicken bowls! Yay! I hope you come down and see us. Have a great one. Thanks! There's a pineapple. There's a pen. Oh, uh, pineapple pen. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait for lunch today. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Seniors, Herf Jones returns this Friday, October 19th. They will be in the lower commons to take your class ring and cap and gown orders. And seniors, remember this Friday is the deadline to turn in your senior photo and quote. See Ms. Kennedy in room 103 for details on how to submit those for the yearbook. And if you haven't ordered your yearbook yet, order yours today in the business office, or you can go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55 until the end of November. That's it for our Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News.